Kind of a gray, wet start to our Saturday, but a very nice ending with clearing skies and sunshine. And now, very comfortable temperatures. We're down to 70 in Pittsburgh and 60s in the surrounding area. 64 right now in Latrobe. Catanning is at 63, Butler 66, Washington and Connellsville in the upper 60s along with Somerset. As we head through the overnight hours, skies will remain clear, 70 there and clear at the airport. You can see that humidity level up there with the dew point, but as we head through tomorrow, it'll still be pretty comfortable, not uh, extremely muggy or sticky. And the winds were gusty earlier today. They have now died down. You can see that we have calm air and uh, that area of low pressure that was pumping up those winds, that tight pressure gradient, that all moved off to the east along with the cloud cover. So 81 was our official high on the Almanac today, 68 the low this morning. Normal high is 83, so no more 90s. We broke the streak of eight straight days and we're near normal, or actually just a little cooler than normal for the daytime high today. So as we head through the rest of the night, skies will remain clear. You see those last few showers pushing east of the area over the past couple of hours. There's that area of low pressure that was spinning across Lake Erie and uh, touching off those showers this morning. Most of the heaviest activity we saw was up close to I-80 and then just scattered as you headed farther to the south. Most of the cloud cover off to the east along with that. So your hourly forecast shows nothing but clear skies the rest of the night. Low temperature right there around 66 and then we warm up to 72 by 9 o'clock tomorrow with some nice sunshine to start the day. 80 by lunchtime and then just into the lower 80s again tomorrow. And you'll notice that chance of a shower or a thunderstorm after 3 o'clock. So Futurecast keeps us nice and dry the rest of the night. A good start to Sunday. So anything you want to do tomorrow, outdoor activities, yard work, taking a walk, exercise, anything you want to do, first half of the day is the time to do it. Because once we get past 3 o'clock, we'll have to start watching for scattered showers to develop. You can see that kind of evolving around 3, 4 o'clock on Futurecast here. And then some of these, with the heat of the day, could pop up into some thunderstorms. So we'll have to keep our eyes on that. But again, the best timeline would be after 3 o'clock. And then once the sun goes down and we lose the heat of the day, we'll start to dry out again. Monday looks to be a mainly dry day. But from lunchtime on, there's a slight chance that we could see a few pop-up showers. Tuesday looks like it should be mostly sunny, a nice dry day still in the 80s. But on the seven-day forecast, look what's looming, some 90s. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, lower to mid-80s. Chance of showers and storms tomorrow afternoon. Slight chance of showers Monday. Sunny Tuesday, Wednesday, but the 90s are back midweek. Paul.